מאוד נוח. טקס האזכרה הממלכתי לחללי מערכות ישראל. את נר הזיכרון Memorial Day. Aaron Steinberg, Zichor Livracha, Asher Nafal Bikrav Bechaf Bet Betishrei Tafshin Pei Daled, Shivaa Beoktober 2023, Im Bna Ori. Yoni Steinberg, Yoni Steinberg, he was the commander of the Nachal Brigade, rushed to leave his home on the morning of Simchat Torah to join his soldiers in the Gaza envelope. Near the Magen Junction, he encountered a terrorist gang, fought them single-handed until he was killed. He was the first name that was permitted to be published as an IDF fatality on the morning of the 7th of October. He was a very, very talented commander whose seniors believed he would have a great military career. He has left a family of six children. May his memory be blessed. The guard will present arms. Garden, the guard will shoulder arms. The guard will present arms. At ease. Iskor will be read by Lieutenant Colonel in Reserves, Yonatan Bahat. He founded a company that trains medical practitioners in life-saving in incidents under fire. On the 7th of October, he was mobilized to the reserves as a deputy commander of the 646 Brigade. During the fighting in January, he was mortally wounded, and while wounded, used the know-how he had Dean learned to contact to contend with extreme situations. His life was saved when the parademic who had learned under him decided to operate on him in the field, and his younger brother was evacu evacuated him to the chopper. Lieutenant Colonel in Reserves, Yonatan Bahad, is underlying rehabilitation. May the people of Israel remember its sons and daughters, loyal and brave, the soldiers of the Israel Defense Forces, its underground fighters and combatants in Israel's wars, and all the members of the intelligence community and police and security forces who gave their lives in the struggle for the redemption of State of Israel and all those who were murdered here in Israel and beyond its borders. May all Israel remember and be blessed by their offspring and mourn the loss of the beauty of youth, the heroic acts, the sanctity of their willingness and deep devotion of those lost in those fierce battles. May we cherish the memory of these heroes forever. Read by, by the chief rabbi of the IDF, General Rabbi Eyal Krim. Our holy brothers and sisters, Heroes of Israel, mighty in spirit and deed, who gave their lives for the holiness of God, the people and the land in the wars of Israel, for its protection and security during the fulfillment of your duty and during your service. And all the underground warriors and the warrior divisions and all the fallen and all the people of the intelligence community the security and the police and the prison service that sacrificed their lives for the sake of the resurrection of Israel. 
by the murderers from the terror organization. May you be remembered by God in his mercy and your deaths be avenged. That is what is written. The gates of heaven will always be open to you with safe paths and dwellings. You will have the privilege of sitting with the angels on high. May your souls be bound in the bundle of life to the Lord of your God, for you have fought this war. We are privileged to see eye to eye in the comfort of Zion and the realization of the vision of the resurrection of the dead that the shepherd of Israel, the prophet Ezekiel ben Buzi, the priest, foresaw and said, thus said, O God, here I am opening your graves, and I have raised you from your graves with my people and brought you to the land of Israel. And you knew that I will open my door to your graves because I brought you to this land. And you knew that I am, as my people, I will open your graves and bring you up. And I put my spirit in you and lived in you and placed you on your land. Kaddish read by Moshe Samo, Yonatan Yitzhak Samo's father of blessed memory. During operational activities in the Gaza Strip on the 8th of November, the paratroopers fought against terrorists who opened fire against them. Amongst them, Staff Sergeant Yonatan Yitzhak Samo. The combatants fought in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and with the cover of tanks and air force, they killed. They were killed. They killed the terrorist, and Yonatan was very serious wounded, and passed away two days later. His organs were donated and transplanted, and in his death, saved the lives of six six people into alien eight-month-old baby, who was given a kidney lobe, which has given her a new breath of life. May his great name be blessed forever and to all eternity, blessed and praised, glorified, exalted, and extolled, honored, adored, and lauded be the name of the Holy One. Blessed be he beyond all the blessings, hymns, praises, and consolations that are uttered in the world. And say, Amen. And now at ease. El Male Rachamim by the chief cantor Shaul Abramson. The guard will present arms. The guard will shoulder arms. El Malerechamim. Hanafei <laughs> Bet 
מילוי תפקידם, ובארץ שהותם, ושחרף הוא נפשם למות, על קדושת השם. מר יציג את נשקו, הצג, שק. המשמר יעבור לנוח, עמוד נוח. דבר My distinguished guests, one and all, the President of Israel, Yitzhak Herzog and his wife Michal, the Speaker of the Knesset, Amir Ohana, and his significant other, the Acting Chief of Justice, the Supreme Court, the Chief Rabbi, ministers, 
members of Knesset, the mayor of Jerusalem, Moshe Leon, the chief of the general staff, Herzia Levy, the chief commissioner of the Israeli police, chief superintendent, Kobi Shabtai, the director of the Mossad intelligence agency, David Marner, the director of the GSS, Ronen Bao, acting chief commissioner of prison services, Kobi Yaakobi, the commissioner for fire rescue services, Eyal Kaski, and his wife, Orid, the chairperson of the IDF widows and orphans organization, Mrs. Tami Shelach, Chairman of the Yad Habanim in Jerusalem, Don Mizrahi, Rosenfeld, the Deputy Director General and Director of the Families Commemoration and Heritage Department in the Ministry of Defense, Aryeh Mualam, um, the Head of the WZO, Mr. Yaakov Haguel. Chairman of the Public Council for Soldiers Commemoration, Professor Shlomo Mor Yosef, a distinguished guest, my brethren, the members of the bereaved family community, Jews, Arabs, Muslims, Bedouins, Christians, my family. I miss you like a flower thirsty for water. That is what said Ashira Greenberg at the fun at um, Lieutenant Colonel Tomil Greenberg's funeral. He was the head of the 13th Brigade, and he died leading his soldiers in the Gaza Strip. And Shira added at the funeral to what Rabbi Granot said. When he spoke about the soldier who, who fell on the northern border, that the pain is burning, but the light remains, and the light will grow and illuminate. The pain is everywhere, but that is also the light. During the Shiva, Major Seren Levy, who also was killed in battle, told one of his soldiers that during the fighting, I didn't have the, uh, the possibility to actually light the stick light. And I said, oof, everything is so dark here. It is so terrible. And Rotem answered me very strongly, look behind you. Can you say, can you see kibbutz near Oz? That is our light. That is what we are fighting for. Anyone who has ever fought for the defense of this state and crossed into enemy territory knows that light. The light of the house who reminds us why we are here and fighting. The light of 25,000 fallen soldiers. They are lighting our path and paving our way. On the 7th of October, with that massacre, since then we have known, and that day, so many terrible sacrifices, but martyrs and heroic, heroic stories. If we're talking about the alert squads and the Israeli police and the GSS services and the fire and rescue services and the medical services, every single one of them they mobilized to defend our homes. Our national home is standing. This state is standing strongly, thanks to them. But at the same time, the chagrin is heart-rending. Dear, dear families, those beloved who fell in the battles, in all our battles for our resurrection, they represent commemorative values ad infinitive, the love of our country willing to sacrifice and a belief in the justice of our paths. The war is 
exactly about that. It is either us or the monsters of Hadas, or existence and liberty and flourishing, or extermination, massacre, rape, and enslavement. We are determined to win that battle. Yes, we have already asked the, told the enemies to pay a very high price. We have taken that price from them, but we will bring all our hostages home. That will be a victory that will ensure our existence and our future. But the price that we are paying, the price that generations before us, before us have paid, that price is a very heavy one. A mother who has lost her beloved son, a father who buries his son, his daughter, a brother and a sister who have lost a limb, children who were orphaned in one fell swoop, women whose beloved husbands will never return. Is there some kind of way that we can help and commiserate with that loss that cuts so deeply into our flesh and blood? No, there isn't, but there is life. But the wound remains forever. Just as every year I met last week Tami Shelach, the head of the Organization for Orphans and Widows of the IDF. The children spoke about a father who was killed and the deep misery and pain and the tears fell. And I believe that it will not disappear. But then a young child spoke, but he couldn't speak. He burst into bitter tears and left the room, and his brother, who's also just a young child, immediately followed him in order to embrace him. All of us remained silent, and we cried with them. The yearning, the feeling that the sun has gone out, never leave us. The pain never leaves us. Even decades later, the tears choke our throats. Thus, on a personal level, but is it feasible that one can somehow commiserate also and find some kind of consolation on a national level? Yes, to carry out the reason that they fell, ensuring the everlasting state that it will exist. Yes, the pain of its, of its actual inception. And for so many generations, we couldn't even fight against those who wanted to kill us. But now the sword of David is in our hands, and we are fighting back. The unity of the people and the embrace of this people are the source of our force, and they are the understanding of why we are struggling. Our war of independence has not ended. It is still going on during these times. And I watched with tremendous movement a film with a tremendous the generation of the Independence Day War that sent us a very moving film. And they said to the young heroes that they remind them of themselves and their readiness, their total commitments to commitment to fight for this country at times of war. Young Eli in the commando fighter who fell 
actually substantiated that commitment with every bone and organ of his body. I am defending Israel with my body, despite the pain and the difficulties and the hardships. All that is belittled if you compare the right every day to choose to be a combatant in the Israel Defense Forces and achieve our redemption. Eli's parents, Erez and Yafa Sa'il, they added the words in their hands in a little postcard that they sent me yesterday in his beloved memory. And this postcard was printed at the Be'eri printing shop. They said, continue fighting against our enemies and don't listen to anyone else who is trying to prevent us, protect and defend our country and our people. Our people is a strong one. Do not forget that. Do not give in. And on the other side of the postcard, beside Eli Tsail's photograph, the words were written, Our light, one cannot turn off. One cannot ever turn off. The pain exists everywhere, but so does the light. And the, our eternal kindle and torch of light is totally impossible to extinguish because we hold it together just as our soldiers are in this fight for our destiny because if we hold it together, thus we will win. I wish health and recovery to all our wounded who are still in the process of rehabilitation. That is the battle after the battle. And when I visit those seriously wounded in the hospitals, I am astounded to the depth of my soul from their mental strength and fortitude that they exhibit. A combatant whose two legs were amputated at in battle, he said that it is very important for us to know that, yes, they will, they intend to win us. Do not give up. Continue till victory. Yes, that is a distilled definition of the spirit of those who fell. They believed in the justice of their paths and determination to really reach victory. Just as Elit Zussman said, the mother of the combatant, Ben Zussman, who fell in Gaza, say, she said, the story will have a happy end because we will win. We together will remember those who have fallen but we will continue fighting together, Sarit. Yes, we will win. May the memories of all those be cherished and remain with us ad infinitum for many generations ahead.